As a teenager, Charlene Hampton Holloway took a trip to Atlanta with her grandmother that sparked her interest in the civil rights marches. They saw Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. leading a group of marchers in front of a department store. I uh, asked my parents, I called home, I said, if he ever comes to Louisville, may I march, may I be involved? And they said, well, you know, you're just 13. Holloway did get involved. She joined the NAACP and the Congress of Racial Equality. The group met at the Quinn Chapel AME Church before they headed out into downtown Louisville. We had our peace pledge of nonviolence. We stated that every day before we started marching. Holloway convinced her brother, who was in high school at the time, to join her in marching too. They would perform sit-ins in front of Blue Boar cafeterias. In April of 1961, both Holloway and her brother were arrested. She remembers the exact locations where it happened. When I pass by there, I always think about that. My, where my late brother, attorney, was arrested. And uh, when I pass through Fifth Street, I think about uh, also Cupid's. Taking part in the civil rights movement meant a lot to Holloway because she could trace her lineage back to slavery. Pretty soon, the man who sparked her interest in the movement came to Kentucky. I was still marching when I was 16 in Frankfurt. Dr. King, they made the announcement, he was bringing my, my World War II veteran daddy's favorite baseball player, Jackie Robinson. But if her parents went to march and were arrested, Holloway knew they could lose their jobs, so she marched for them. There was 10,000 of us strong, and the wind was rain. It was windy, raining, but it didn't make a difference. So we were there, we marched to the Capitol. 